Now let's know what are Bernoulli trials. Bernoulli trials are related to what we started in the previous video. That means they are related to dichotomous alternatives. Now, dichotomous alternatives are the ones, as we said in the previous video, which result in a success or a failure. That means, if I say the tossing of a coin, if I say the manufacturing of a product, the uh, coin that is tossed may either result in a head or a tail. So, what is favorable? Suppose head is favorable to us, then tail is considered as a failure. Similarly, if I say about the manufacturing of a product, it may be either defective or non-defective. So, that is also important. The other thing that I want to tell you that in case of Bernoulli trials, I know that the definition should have a huge importance because only then we can understand a concept better. So Bernoulli trials are those which follow each of the following characteristics. The first is they are finite in number. They are finite in number. That means you can count them very easily. The second is they are independent. They are independent. The third is, after you have considered even they are independent, the third is the each trial, the each trial results in either success or a failure. That means you can classify, you are not confused whether this has a success or a failure or ambiguous nature. And the last but not the least is that the probability of success or failure remains the same in each trial. So probability of success or failure remains remains same in each trial. Now with these points in mind, let me take an example. Suppose there is a bag and the bag has say 5 black balls and 6 green balls. So 5 black balls and 6 green ba balls are a part of the bag. Now what we are thinking of is we are finding the probability of taking out a black ball. So that becomes 5 over 11. Now again successively if I have to take out the second black ball and the question is that it is with replacement, again we will get 5 over 11. In the third draw also 5 over 11 because it is with replacement. But if it is without replacement, so first time it will be 5 over 11. The second time it will change to some other number. Then the third time to some other number because the number of balls are not being replaced. So the number of balls in totality are becoming less. So that means in the first case when it was with replacement, the probability of success or failure would remain the same because the probability is coming out to be the same. But in the next case that we studied, wherein we saw that there was different probability in case of without replacement, that case is of not Bernoulli trials, while the first case of with replacement is related to Bernoulli trials. So now we understand the basic concept of Bernoulli trials. In the next video, we will be studying about definition of binomial distribution.